Today I'm sharing with you the tools I use for digital marketing. You're going to learn what I use to build websites, to make videos, and get traffic to my site. Plus, as an added bonus, I'm going to share with you the gear that I use to make videos since a lot of people seem to be interested in that as well. Two quick points before we get started. I'm going to buzz through this list pretty quickly. I'm not going to go in depth because otherwise we'd be here all day. If you want to explore any of these tools further, I'll have links in the description below. And second, I fully understand there are a gazillion tools out there. I'm simply showing you the tools I use. Now, that being said, let's begin with the tools I use to build websites. Every website I've built since 2007, whether it be for myself or a client, has been built on the WordPress platform, currently used by over 800 million websites. However, WordPress by itself is just a content management system. To make WordPress look and function like a website, you're going to need to use a theme. In addition to a theme, if you want to create modern, professional-looking web pages without having to code everything manually like we had to in the olden days, you're going to need a page builder. Over the years, I've tried tons of different WordPress themes and page builders. And what I use is something called Thrive Suite from a company called Thrive Themes. They're an excellent company and I've used their stuff since 2015. Next, the place I get high quality royalty free stock images for use on websites and other digital media is BigStockPhoto.com. For online appointment scheduling, for clients and prospective clients, I use a scheduling app from a company called Engageware, formerly known as TimeTrade. It automatically syncs to my Google Calendar so I can see all my appointments. It sends out automated email reminders to reduce no-shows. For website hosting, I've used HostGator since 2010. They're reliable, affordable, and provide great support. Sometimes you hear experts say, you need to get high-end, expensive web hosting if you want to rank well on Google, because they claim page loading speed is a ranking factor. Unfortunately, I have to call BS on this claim because the data just doesn't support it. I rank well on page one of Google for many competitive search terms. In addition, search engine expert Brian Dean in his article, we analyzed 11.8 million Google search results and here's what we learned. One of his key findings is they found no correlation between page loading speed and page one rankings on Google. So there's that. For everyday graphic design and editing, I use an online tool called Canva. For tracking website statistics you might have seen in a previous video, I use a service called Clicky. I also have Google Analytics installed on my site, but ever since they switched over to their new Google Analytics 4 system on July 1st, 2023, I just haven't used it that much, but it is installed on my site and collecting data. Lastly, at the heart of every great website is excellent copywriting. You've got to be good with words. One copywriting tool I use is ChatGPT. I started using it in early 2023, mainly just to see what all the fuss was about, and I have to say it's helped tremendously. First, for brainstorming ideas, but second, for rewriting sentences or paragraphs when you're stuck and can't figure out the best way to say what you want to say. Another copywriting tool I use is Rev.com, which is an automated transcription service that converts audio to text. I have a video coming out shortly that'll show you step-by-step -step how exactly I use Rev.com to create top-notch written content, so stay tuned for that. Also, as a reminder, if tech just isn't your thing, but you need to modernize your existing website or even build a brand new website, we offer done-for-you services. Just go to markbrinker.com slash done-for-you and tell us what you need help with. Okay, next topic video and audio production. I use two tools to record and edit all my video. Both tools are from a company called TechSmith. The first video tool is called Snagit. I use Snagit nearly every day to record quick tutorial videos or answer questions for clients or prospective clients. I've used Snagit since 2012. The other video tool I use when I need to create videos with a higher production value, like animations or special effects or things like that, is Camtasia. And I've used Camtasia since 2008. However, creating a video is only half the battle. In order to share your video, you're going to need a place to host your video. Unfortunately, there's no one size fits all when it comes to video hosting. I use three different video hosts depending on the situation. Let's start with video hosting solution number one. All the videos I create with Snagit are hosted on screencast.com. When I'm done recording my Snagit video, it's a one-click upload to Screencast. Screencast then provides me with a unique link for that video, which I can then email to my client, a remote team member, or whomever. Next, when I have a video that I want to share with the world, like the one you're watching right now, I upload it to my YouTube channel. 
video hosting solution number three is Vimeo. For video-based online courses where you only want the people that actually buy your course to have access to the videos, you would not want to publish your course videos on YouTube. Instead, you'd want to publish them on a private video server like Vimeo. Next, audio creation. If I ever need to create an audio-only soundtrack, like for a podcast or something, no additional recording software is needed. I can just record an audio-only track using Camtasia. So with Camtasia, it's two for the price of one because it allows me to record audio or video. Now there is one standalone piece of audio software I use, and it's called Audacity. It's free open source software that's been around forever. What I use Audacity for is cleaning up audio, specifically noise reduction for removing hisses and hums from things like air conditioners or other electrical interference. Now, as promised, here's my little bonus for you with the list of gear I use for making videos. The microphone I use is the Rode PodMic. However, the Rode PodMic is what's called an XLR microphone. So you're gonna need an interface to get that audio signal into your computer. The interface I use is the Motu M2. The camera I use is the Sony ZV-E10. However, like the Rode PodMic, you'll need an interface to get the high-def video signal from your camera into your computer. To do that, I use the Elgato CamLink 4K capture card. And don't forget lighting. To get nice-looking video, you must have good lighting. On my desk are two Elgato Key Light Airs. One about 45 degrees to my left and another about 45 degrees to my right. And just to show you how important good lighting is, now watch what happens when I shut off the studio lights. So yeah, you need good lighting. Now, final topic. Here are the tools I use to get traffic to my website. A lot of my website traffic comes from the Google search results. And anyone that knows anything about search engine optimization knows that in-depth research is where the magic happens. The tool I use to do my SEO research is SEMrush. To do email marketing, the email service provider I've used since 2007 is Aweber. The two paid advertising platforms I use are Facebook ads and Google ads. Why Facebook and Google? For the same reason Willie Sutton robbed banks. That's where the money is. Or in my case, Facebook and Google are where the people are. For most small to medium sized businesses, Facebook and Google should be able to provide you with all the website traffic you'd ever need. So there you have it. These are 24 digital tools I use to build websites, make videos, and drive traffic to my site. And remember, if you have any specific topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, you can suggest them at markbrinker.com slash topics. Also, if you found this video helpful and want to see more, hit subscribe. Have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.